people YouTube and welcome to the dojo. You're here with Summer Man. And today we have the Mastermind Creations reformatted R03 Bovis the Supply Specialist. Yes, there we are. The Pharaohcons, aka the Predacons. This is the very first figure from that line. Very nicely done, I have to say, as a first figure, they did a good start. They made it very impressive. So I, I like what they're doing. Um I know there's a lot of sets out there. TFC's got their own version going, and so does um, Unique Toys. But I decided to go with Mastermind Creations. I thought it, it was the coolest looking, in my opinion. So I went with theirs. I like the style. I, I like what they're doing. It still had that ma or it still had that uh, Predacon feel and G1 feel. So works for me. So it does come with some accessories. There we go. And this is a giant cannon. That with these two clips goes on to his back. So you just clip it on. It's a very tight and secure connection. As you can see, uh, th these little b grooves and everything line up with it. So you just want to make sure it's lined. And it'll snap right in if you can get it. But it is uh, on a hinge that folds away. So that can get kind of annoying because it, it likes to fold on that hinge. There you go, but if you're very straight with it, if you keep it at a very straight angle, you can get it in. The first time I did it, it, it was difficult. It was a challenge. and But now I've got it down. This is the second time I've done it. Oh, it's just one of uh, a couple of accessories. He also does have these cool blades, knuckle blades, as you can see. You just peg them in right into the side. And these, I guess, uh, I guess they're shotguns. I'm not really sure. Maybe rifles. Regardless, they look really cool. I do like the, the amount of detail in them and everything. So again, just like plug them in. Let's find a good spot for them. There we go. So now he's got some more cannons. He does have another one for the other side. But for now, we'll leave him like that. So you can see he's really armed up, ready to go. This guy doesn't mess around. He is the supply specialist. He's got to bring over these supplies and charge in you know gotta go a little headstrong when you're taking down Autobots so yes there is that and he is falling over he is a bit difficult to pose uh, he's got four tiny little hoovy legs as you can see so sometimes he does like to fall over but once you get him in a good pose he's good to go so we'll go ahead and talk about his articulation so he does rotate here at ball joints at the shoulders and at the knee or elbows that I guess are kind of knees and then at the wrists and this is all talking about the hooves same as on the back uh, ball joint ball joint ball joint so three ball joints that have a great range of movement so you can actually get some decent poses out of him like he's charging in or something like <laughs> Something like that. Oh, and his horns also move. If you want to, like, maybe make them a little more up, a little more Looney Tunes style horns. If you want to have them a little more forward. Whatever floats your boat. And he can open his mouth. It's kind of hard. It's really got to get in there. There you go. So you can't open his mouth. Do a face reveal. Yes, there's his head. Looks like he's eating somebody. He's like, help me. Help me. I'm still alive. Nope. Goodbye. And his head can also rotate around. It's on a, a little bit of a ball, but can kind of get some up and down, but mostly just back and forth. Nothing at the waist. It's kind of locked out. Everything else on this whole torso is kind of just locked in a place, so you're not really going to get anything there. Now, I just want to take a look at this molding and paint job. It's just so well done. He's got all these little inner mechanics here, some silver bits on orange and gray, just all blending very well together. Just so much beautiful molding, and here at the joints, they've got like fake joints kind of molded in and everything. That looks really just beautiful. At the top here, you can see, again, just some more of that really nicely done molding. That just looks great. It's just coming across very nice. Kind of got like some rivets here at the jaw. Very, very cool. I do, I do really like this. So to transform this guy, we'll start by rotating up his uh, hooves at the bottom. Kind of get them out of the way, and then we'll split apart the whole bottom of the uh, abdomen, or I guess 
thighs. I guess he's just got really big thighs and back and everything. And we'll go ahead and fold open these bottom panels. So you can rotate the legs out. You can already hear all those beautiful clickety clack of that ratchety joints. Then, what you want to do is this is actually pretty interesting. This is here is the foot, and you, it's pegged into the side right there. Just unpeg it, and it's all free ball joints. So what you want to do is fold it down, and then get this gap through here and bring it in like that. So that way you can fold in this this plate, and then you have the foot right there. So really interesting how they did that. Next, what we'll do is we'll bring up the uh, leg, just unpeg it there. And what we're going to do is rotate the hoof. There you go. And then bring it down. So the hoof has a giant port that you could peg in or tab in. I'm not really sure which one. But you can do it. It's kind of difficult to do, I'll be honest. It's not the easiest, uh, like, cabin section of the world but it's doable. there you go so I got it next also there is two tabs on each side there's one tab on this side and then a tab on the foot here so you just want to line everything up and once you do it'll be all secure you just need to get it all together there you go see he does lock in very secure everything clicks in together very well so there's the first foot oh and then also rotate this uh, back thigh piece around to the side there you go that's gonna be for like gun storage and everything and weapon storage so let's do it again on this side so bring out this foot piece rotate it in such a way there you go bring it forward bring it this plate backwards and then the foot is done make sure everything's in make sure it's done there you go Bring this out, rotate at the ball joint of just the hoof, 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 I don't know. Peg every, get all the little tabs all oriented. And let's get it going. Let's get her done. Just wanna... It's kind of hard to do it because it's so uh, exact, like it has to go in that exact spot. So it doesn't really leave much room to... Uh, kind of like wiggle it around they were very finite with their measurements but once you get it it stays uh, and that's a good thing and help if I can line it up there we go there we go there we go okay so that's locked and loaded bring this die piece around that's not going anywhere. So the legs, done. Next, what we're going to do is rotate the waist. There we go. Because you want to have uh, the legs facing forward. I mean, that would, be, that would be a good idea. So, got the upper body and the lower body all done properly. Now for the arms, what you want to do is unpeg the uh, forearm from the shoulder right up there. So just unpeg the shoulder from the forearm. Unpeg this uh, elbow here from the, I guess, other elbow. Rotate the hoof. And then what you want to do is get this arm out of the way and rotate the shoulder armor to face forward. There you go. Want that to face forward, so now you can bring up the hoof. Hoof, 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 and drag it in. Same way, same thing as uh, the bottom. Same exact uh, situation where you want to rotate this and then peg all this in. So it's it's pretty much that same whole deal. And of course, we're gonna do the same thing on the other arm. So we'll start by unpegging that. Unpeg the arm. Rotate the shoulder. Unpeg, unpeg, rotate, down, B, left, triangle. And we just did cheat codes for transformation. I wish. I wish there were cheat codes for transformation. Transformation can be, at times, a tad on the difficult side for really any figure. Well, maybe not any figure, but most figures. Well, maybe not most figures, but older figures that Hasbro used to produce, now they want to dumb down everything. 
but I digress. There we go. So now we want to flip out the wrist. Nothing crazy there. Standard flip out the wrist. Seen it a million times. Rotate the head around. Kind of just get the horns kind of in an upward position. Fold out the face plate. Not the whole mouth, just the face plate that is separated from it. And I believe we are done. So here we have him fully transformed. As you see, he is pretty darn big. Um, he does. I happen to open up my camera frame a little a wider. He's not just your standard uh, Voyager. He's a. He's obviously a little bigger. So I'll go ahead and uh, clip on his weapon set because he can. You can have him hold it. There is two pegs on the sides if you want to have him hold it. But I mean, I just kind of like sticking on the back. He's got all these grooves here, and he's got a bunch of grooves on his back, or I guess pegs on his back. And it's not the most secure thing, it's just friction, but it'll stay, like I say, it gets the job done. And there you go. He does have some weird posture right now. I mean, I'll try and fix it as best as I can. But there you go, you can get it to work. You can get it to hold up that giant backpack. As well as he has his gun still. Guns, uh, you could store or have them hold. You know, it's up to you way that if you don't he's not gonna hold it so there you go I got gun number one and we'll go ahead and do it with a blade for the other arm just so you can see the differences in him holding a blade versus him holding a gun and the blades are a little bit tougher just because uh they're knuckle blades so you want to have them in again such a way but there you go so now he's all armed up ready to fight anybody he's not taking no trash he's uh Ready to kick some butt. Literally, he's going to turn to a foot and kick some butt. That's how much of a fighter this guy is. Now, each set of three formatted figures does come with a instruction manual. This is actually the Fortis instruction manual, but um, I couldn't find my Bovis one because it's in storage. And I just could not find it. It's somewhere in storage. So, I'm just going to show you this one. It comes with a really awesome, uh, it actually has down here art and colors, story, letters. All that because this is actually also a comic book slash instruction manual. So it comes to you see this is the second installment of it. The art is very well done. The story is alright. It seems very slow. I mean, I don't know how far they're planning on continuing it. There you can see Terminus Hexatron's in it. Makes a nice little appearance. But yeah, story's alright. It's basically just like they're under interrogation. Apparently, uh, their one of their missions went south, trying to figure out what went wrong, and uh, there's a deeper story behind it. And yeah, so that's that's that. Also comes with uh, again one of these nice credit card style cards. And again, it's in storage somewhere. The box is somewhere. So this is 40s. I'll show it again with the 40s video, but this is what you get. So you can see here, he's got a fantastic head sculpt. He's just super angry like he's having a temper tantrum. I mean, just like, Darn you, Autobots. I'll get you, you son of a shepherd. So yeah, very cool. Again, he's just got such a fierce and angry look. He's just going to explode and have a tantrum any minute. So here I have Bovis with Masterpiece Smokescreen and Generations Voyager Rhinox. Just to get an idea of a uh, scale on what he is, he is bigger as a, than a Voyager, as you can see, but he's about, uh, not about the same size as a Masterpiece, he is bigger, but I guess the, as far as scale goes, um, not bad, the Predacons were pretty big, I mean, they are the biggest combiner in the whole series, they were known for being the biggest combiner, so their individual mode should be pretty large, so I think the scale is pretty good if you want to pull them with your Masterpiece collection, or even your, gen your Generations Classics collections that works too so it's really up to you um i think he's gonna go for probably my, my classics i don't know i'm not too sure yet we'll see how things go with these lines but he's nice i really really do like him i highly suggest this this set the reformatted pretty much reformatted in general with mastermind creations is a very good like set anything they have with the reformatted title i think is going to come out well their six shot was really awesome their hexatron figure that was cool so I, I think this set's awesome. I can't wait to see what their next thing. Hopefully it'll be reformatted again. Because that's good. So for the articulation, again, he does have a ball jointed shoulders. He can swivel at his bicep. He's got a double hinge at the elbow. But this piece kind of gets in the way. So that's a, about as much you're going to get. But that's a, that's a lot. 
and swivel at the wrist, swivel at the waist, rotation there, you can rotate his head, you can, again not really up or down but back and forth you've got it, uh, knee, thighs have a ratchet that go upward and outward, knees as well, they go a lot just because they are folded for the transformation you can get a lot out of them. Um, his ankles have a lot of actually articulation, but the thing is they're they're not the strongest ankles there since this is a ball it doesn't hold up very well so I mean if you want to try and extend them it's he's gonna fall forward you can see you kind of just have to find the sweet spot and there you go see so you can make him taller find that sweet spot looks a bit weird but it's up to you you know I usually kind of just have his feet close but that's not bad so that's that's some articulation he's got a full range of articulation in the ankle. So that's awesome. So to transform him back, we'll start by folding in the wrists. Pretty much just head back the way we came. Which way to town? Back to where you came. That's right. Fold in the head. Goodbye. Get that in there. Rotate the head back around. Actually, we'll leave the head like this. Because I want to do limo next. So I'm just going to quickly transform him. Fold out this panel. Again, this thing's got to bring him around town. See if I got it. Did I do that? Did I, I did something weird? Maybe like this. There we go. And we'll go ahead and leave the feet the way they are, because again I'm gonna do a limb mode. So I'll do like half half formation. Not really a transformation, just a half formation. Bring this around. I'm just gonna do whatever I can to get to limb mode and then you'll see what you need to see. We'll accomplish what we can and then we'll just we'll accept it. We'll accept it, darn it. I've got something in my eye. It burns. What do I do? So bring out these hoops. These again, these hoops really just peg in there so nicely. There we go. Bring around the shoulder. Bring up the forearm, peg it in. Tab this in, which isn't the easiest tab. There we go, but I got it. Haha. -ha. Kidding. Kidding. It's actually super easy. I'm just I'm awesome. There we go. Second side is exactly the same. I mean why wouldn't it be? Unless they just want to go for some asymmetry, which I like. At times I do like asymmetry. But mostly for like weapons and stuff, not really like aesthetics. I mean some aesthetics it just depends. Like the old robots in the skies, uh cartoon. That one was known for its asymmetry. That show was infamous for asymmetry. Or famous. Not really infamous. Doesn't need to be infamous. But whatever you want to call it. And now it doesn't want to go in. What's going on? What, what you got? There we go. I just accidentally did it. Just by doing accidents. Aha! Happy accidents. Get this thing a hidget into that who's a what's it. There we go. That's done. And bring up this. Oh, it's not gonna do it. Oh, it's you. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. Make sure this thing's in. Bring these, bring these skirt pieces in. Bring these skirt pieces in. Almost. Almost. No cigar. Almost. What's locking? What's getting stuck? What is going on? There we go. Clear, clearing everything. What are we not clearing? What is not making it? There it goes. Did you hear that beautiful snap? It's beautiful. Okay. Woo -hoo. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost in our foot mode. Just gonna have to re-peg this junk back in. Oh, which is my least favorite part. It's not easy. There we go. It's not easy being cheesy. I tell you. Gotta get that all lined up. Getting that up there, man. There we go. It's a challenge. Whew. But it's, like I said, it's secure. So you don't have to worry about that. Alright. So, from this point forward, we're, we're doing all foot. So we're, uh, uh, what you're going to do is, it's kind of dumb. But you kind of just have to, like, I guess, rotate this forward like this. From what I can gather from the instructions. Leave this like this. Uh, you want the face to be forward like that, and that just unpegs there. And uh, there should be a combiner joint right behind this junk. 
How do I open it, though? Wait. Am I... Oh, okay, okay. I think I'm seeing it. Ooh, this is not gonna be easy. Okay. Oh. Now it is. Unpeg this junk. Bring it around town. Oh, I was skipping pieces or parts, that's why. Fold out the combiner part, which again, very tight. And it needs to be, it needs to be super tight, so that way it's, uh, can support a giant behemoth of a monster. This last push is really hard. You can hear my struggle. So you know it's, uh, there we go, it's tough. Okay, he's got this little goatee sticking out of his uh, jaw. That just slides right there. So that way the head's not moving anywhere. Bingo, done. That's done. Now we just need to get all this junk oriented in the way that it should be. So what we're going to do here is bring these together. As you see, there is a peg, peg, or I mean a tab and a tab and a slot and a slot. So we're going to bring that together. It's going to be a challenge, but we're going to get it done. I do it for you guys. I do it for you. I struggle. You hear all my struggle? I do it for you. Make sure it's all lined up. Peg it in. There is two giant pegs that peg right into the feet. And you want to make sure that's, you know, done right. Because who wants it done wrong, really? Um, I'm not, I've, I've honestly kind of freeballing. I, I glanced at the instructions. I kind of figured his uh, transformation in a foot wouldn't be that difficult. Uh, I've been wrong before, and this could be the case. But let's hope not. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and look at the instructions for this last part because I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. Hoof pegs into here, I'm assuming. Oop, oop. I think we got something. Okay, I think I totally got this transformed without even really looking at the instructions, with the exception of the foot. I'm going to look at the instructions real quick and I'll get back to you. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to have this like this, bring it up, and rotate the uh, question mark around. I'm slowly figuring out this Riddler's Riddler. I mean Riddler's Riddle. Yeah. And the instructions just say close this on top of this. But I'm going to assume there's a little more finesse to it, like, oh, pegs and holes and such, that the instructions... Don't really like to go over. But then again, I do have a brain, so I'm sure I can figure it out. And I got it. Yes, it took some doing, but I've got the foot in the slot. It's really weird. There's a perfect groove. That weird uh, question mark shape is perfectly grooved in here. You can see at the bottom there. So you do just have to get it moving around, and it will go in. And I did it. So yeah, I told you, he literally turned into a foot, so he can go kick some butt. But there you have it, he, he does have some uh, ankle movement forward, so I guess I guess that's toe, not ankle, he has some toe movement forward, so that's cool, I mean, for getting, you can get a little more posability in the full uh, Feral Rex mode, so that's cool, he's got the ankle pivot, sort of. Uh, the problem is, he's got these giant knee pads in the bottom, and they are kind of in the way, I mean, let me see, maybe, can you flip them up out of the way, maybe, remember, no, no you can't, but there is still plenty of, uh, there is still some ankle movement, you can see it is going, even with those, those pieces, so, so there you go, so you will have some uh, playability with them, and then if you want, you can take his weapons, and I'm just trying to think of good storage places for them. I mean, the guns, you can have... Nah, we'll go ahead and put the blades forward like this. Maybe... Or actually, here we go. No? No, that doesn't fit. No? Okay. Well, anyways, you can have the blades forward like this. Just for storage. I mean, you might as well. And then... Have the other blade go on like this. And there we go. And the guns, I'm almost positive I saw storage for them. There you go, put the guns as his new arms. That works for me, if I can get it. Works for me if I can get it. There it is. So yes, there you go, he's got new little arms. So he got guns, blades, and everything. Arm to the teeth. Still have this leftover piece. I wonder what it is. Oh, look at that, it's a hand. Oh, jokes. I knew it was on the whole time. I'm kidding. 
But there you go, you can have a look at what the hand's going to look like once it's, you know, on a robot. There is already an add-on set for the hand. Uh, it's, it's just pretty much claws, like they just slip onto the fingers. And it's supposed to make them pointy, so that looks, I think that'll look cool. I don't know, I'm debating whether or not I want to spend the money. I think it's like 20 or 25 bucks for it, so I don't know if it's really worth it. But who knows, I might get it, because it, it does look cool having the sharp claws. I mean, that's part of the Feral Rex design is the claws, not just the fist. So, we'll see. But anyway, guys, it's been Samurai Man, and uh, don't forget to follow me on Tumblr at Smackation. I've got some new SDCC 2014 photos I've already uploaded. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Mecca the Heart. I still need to put some more photos there. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. You'll have more of these great toys and others coming up for you. And as always, guys, have a great day, and thank you so much for the support.